Audio over Wi-Fi, uh, we have been working in that space for years. What we're doing is taking an audio signal, rather than running it through our traditional transmitters in uh, radio frequency or infrared, we're running that audio to a server that's going to live on the venue's network, and then we can deliver it directly to folks' personal smartphone devices or even a listen receiver. We built it for assistive listening so that folks who are um, hard of hearing are able to contribute equally and, and participate in public venues, but it lends itself really well to other audio streams. We rely on it for translated streams, TV audio, audio description is a big one for us. We are not picky on what audio you want to run through our server. We all know what it's like to struggle hearing in certain environments. We're struggling right now in this loud environment quiet environments where we have to whisper, right? that's equally difficult to communicate in. And so the fact that we can access that with our own phones makes us more likely to use that technology. And on a campus, we can have the same technology uh, across all of the campus. So even in like the recreation center, we can listen to the TVs on, in the gym. We can listen in the, the um, arenas, right? We now have one ecosystem where everyone can access it on the Wi-Fi network. So it's going over their network. So if I was on a campus, I would probably put it on the student network because that's the network their phones are automatically going to join every day when they get there. If I leave there and I go to a facility like a pub and they also have this system, when I join their network, those are the channels I'm going to see. So it is network dependent, um, but we don't necessarily have to be passing through internet access, right? We're just running it over the Wi-Fi. Customers like it because it's the system listening that they know will get used and they can get to a really high channel count, which is you know, kind of a limitation of some of the other uh, products that we use. Um, and you know, everything, Listen Wi-Fi will be able to do everything our previous iterations did. Basically, we're taking a signal and delivering it to your smart device. What Listen Wi-Fi gives us is dedicated Wi-Fi receivers, so Listen built, so we're able to say with accuracy, this is what your experience will be. And in some, um, some areas, like in the U.S., we have strict laws around passing out a receiver and the audio quality it needs to deliver and the addition of ability to use a neck loop to connect directly to hearing aids. Those are all very important things. But that also gives us the ability to lock down some channels. We can secure that audio to a space. In some situations, it's not desirable to have everyone on the Wi-Fi range be able to access the channels. So we can secure that audio now by using our receivers, and we can also have the addition of beacons. So now we can trigger the right audio in the right space. And maybe that's for secure purposes, right? I'm in a boardroom and I want to hand out my receiver and give only access to those with that receiver for that channel. Or in the case of bring your own device, I can use that um, beacon in Bluetooth. And that Bluetooth will tell my phone how to behave. So on a campus where there might be hundreds of channels, it's not ideal to scroll through an app. So I can put a beacon in the space, trigger the right channel for the right space. I can do that with the beacons and the receivers and the smart devices. So far, I have not seen beacons hit the market besides ours. We specifically developed this based on that feedback for security, high channel count, and the ability to also um, trigger audio based on location. Maybe I'm in a museum. I'd like to wander over to a display, trigger that audio on my phone, and listen while I wander to the next display. I actually am married to a hard of hearing individual. He has a very severe deficit, and so, you know, the more accessible this world is, the more places we can go and participate. So, yes, it's very personal to me.